everyone, in this video I attempted to build a holiday rental. I made it Christmas themed or Winterfest themed, as the holiday is known in The Sims, using as many of the items from for rent that I felt fit this style. And actually I also used a lot of stuff from Cottage Living, but I am building in a lot called Mid Nowhere in the world of Windenburg. And I decided to build here because the winter is really beautiful in this area, and for that same reason I wanted this house to have a sort of sunroom. And I discovered that this new roof trim that comes with Forrent actually looks really nice when you have the roof like I do. So even if the detail doesn't show, it still looks good. And I was pleased with that. And now we are going to be working on the inside. This is actually the second time that I built this because the first time I didn't realize that I wasn't recording or I actually did record but it was only like a black screen. So I had to take a, a few screenshots and then I went back and built this house all over again. And it actually came together pretty fast because I already knew where everything was going to go. But I still did make like a few small changes and that actually was what took me the longest when I was working on this that second time. But you can see that now I have built the whole bathroom. I initially wanted it to be really red and green, but in the end I have it mostly green. However, the red door matches those windows in the sunroom perfectly. And I was able to use the new green tiles that have that special trim around them. And that made me very very happy, since that was the color scheme that I was going for in this build. And now I am adding some of those wool decorations from the Freehold pack, such as a wreath and Christmas lights on the walls and on the trees outside. And now you can see that I have a bed and a dresser that are both from the new pack. And I think that it feels like this one that show how versatile objects can be, because this cottage doesn't look at all like any of the houses in Tomorrow. But now you can see that the kitchen has come together. I decided to use these red counters from Cottage Living and the stove is also from that pack. But the fridge is from For Rent and I thought that worked well for a rental since I was thinking maybe you would only have one or two sims staying here for the Winterfest holiday. So it was probably just a place where you're going to be a few days, like it's all completely decorated for that holiday and the color scheme really is just that and a few wood tones. I decided to paint the whole of the inside green in the same way that I painted the outside and I added a very skinny bookcase at the foot of the bed because I wanted to fill that space somehow and I eventually added a collectible to it. I also decided to use the dining table from For Rent and the swatch that I picked matched the counters perfectly and I decided to add these tools from For Rent because they had that green swatch, but if I wasn't trying to use as much from that pack as I was, I probably would not have used those. But I think they, they work okay in here. And now the sunroom is sort of a living room space. I decided that it would have these couches from Forrent, and I was really pleased to see that there was one swatch that was green and red. So I used that and the matching chair. And this is a room that has all the skill building items except for the easel, which I have in the front porch. But I have a bonsai tree, knitting supplies and a violin. I also added some presents from Seasons because those have a gameplay, but they really aren't necessary for the decoration since I added some from the free pack. And in the bedroom I decided to add a medusa really quickly. It's a collection that comes with the holiday pack and I tried to use as much from that pack as I could because it's free. And I believe that I didn't use anything from Seasons because I was really trying not to do that and still have this be very, very Christmassy. But I think I am only going to do the landscaping and change out the wallpaper in the bedroom. Because when I first built this, I was using that wallpaper all throughout the house, but I decided that it was maybe a bit much, so I just decided to use the same wallpaper that I had outside inside. So that's it for the build, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in downloading this, it will be available in the gallery under my ID, which is very new. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I will see you next time.